Hi, my name is Phil Valdez here at Prison Concepts. I'm the head mechanic here on the race team. Uh, we'll be doing a top end on my uh, 03 kicks 125 or installing a 144 kit. So today I'll be using the GP series on the Wisco pistons. Um, they're forged pistons, really good. Uh, they have that coating up on top and the rings. So the reason I went with this piston is because of it lasts a lot longer, it's stronger. Um, I did go to a uh, standard board to a 144. So I need a good piston to put in my bike. And get ready to install. Make sure you look for the end, pointing up. I always add two stroke oil on the piston pin and the wrist pin bearing. Now to install the piston. All right, I'm sorry, I go. Putting some oil in here. Always like to put oil around and stuff. Making it all nice and lubrication. Time to install the wristband bearing. And now the piston. So always make sure you put paper towels down here just in case the uh, circuit pops out and doesn't fall down. My circuit clip, I like to make sure it's two o'clock. Then I just get the, make sure it's pushed in all the way. Put some oil around the whole piston. Time to install the cylinder. So I've already installed the power valves and all that in there, so time to put the cover on. That power valve cover is installed. Now, if you can see, I got the O-rings for the head with a 144 kit. I don't have those screws here anymore. We went to a bigger bore, so we actually had to have custom gaskets made to come from uh, Cometic. So I'll go from O-rings to now a full solid gasket. Install the base gasket now. So I've already done all the cleaning on the cases, cleaned up all the base gasket, whatever was left over, make sure you have that really nice and clean before you install your new gasket. And new one's installed. Time for the cylinder. Make sure you guys put some oil in there, mixing oil. So I've already done my ring gap, so now the big thing is make sure you put the ring gap next to the locating pin on the back of the piston. All right, time to install the cylinder.
fenders on. I always like to kick, kick it over, make sure everything's good. Piston goes up and down nice and free. So I like to use a maximum assembly lube on the nuts for the threads so they don't seize up. Just a little dab. All right, now it's time to torque. Uh, torque spec on the two stroke at 18 foot pounds. Got a special tool from Snap on to make it torque a lot easier to the high, harder spots. It is nice and free. Now time to install the cover. Side cover installed. Now we're gonna move on to the head. So the head was also cleaned up from LM Technologies to match the cylinder and the bore size of the 144. Also, make sure you guys don't forget to install your dowel pins on the cylinder. Time to install the head gasket. Now the head. a little dab of assembly lube for Maxima just so they don't seize up. All right, time to torque, 18 foot pounds. So I always like to torque in the cross pattern so everything's nice and even. Now the top end's installed. Now it's time to reassemble the whole bike put fluids and everything in, and then I would like to always ride it around 20 minutes on, off, uh, for a break-in, let it cool down, and then go back out for another 20 minutes, and I uh, do half a tank when I do that. Now when the bike's fully complete, I'm pretty excited to try this 144 kit out. Uh, I'll be going to Glen Helen to break it in on Thursday. Uh, can't wait to go out and ride.